Greetings for the day children. Before we begin the class, let us recall what is meant by the term rainfall. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation as it involves conversion of water vapor into water or the droplets of ice. Rainfall is the most common form of precipitation. Today, we will get to know the different types of rainfall. Rainfall is classified into three types. These classification is on the basis of its origin. They are convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall. Let us quickly learn about each one of them. What do you understand by the term convection? Yes, does it remind you of convection currents? These are nothing but transfer of heat energy from one place to another. Convection currents takes place in the atmosphere. Now, as you can see the picture here, the sun heats the land surface, making the surrounding air warmer and warm air rises and reaches troposphere which is comparatively cooler. The cool air again sinks to the earth back due to gravity. Now, convectional rain occurs when the sun energy heats up the land surface and its surrounding air. We know that warm air rises and this rising of air form convection currents because if you see there is transfer of heat energy and naturally warm air rises higher in the sky and that's how condensation takes place and clouds are formed. Now, as you can see here, once the clouds are formed, subsequently rainfall takes place. So, as it clearly shows here, it all starts with the rising of warm air. If you see the picture here, sun heats the land and air above, warm air rises, cools and condenses forming clouds, rainfall is occurring. For the convectional rainfall, the ideal weather should be summer season and the ideal location should be equatorial region. The one which is highlighted in the pink here in the middle is the equatorial region. Convectional rains are common in the interior parts of continents because land surface heats up faster than water. Also, in the northern hemisphere, it is common as most parts are covered with the land. I hope we are good with the first type of rainfall. Now let us move on to the second type which is the orographic rainfall. When you hear the word orographic, you should remember the orogenic process which is basically mountain building. Have you ever wondered how the mountains are formed? We shall look into that in our next class. So the term oros here means mountains. Hence, we can understand that rainfall has something to do with the mountains. The key element here in the orographic rainfall is mountain. Now, let's recall what is evaporation and condensation. When the warm air rises, it doesn't rise in absolute straight manner here in the orographic rainfall because there are winds that flow horizontally. Therefore, the direction may be little sideways. Heat moves from areas from high temperature to low temperature. Hence, it can move in any direction, left, right, up, down. The top portion of the mountain heats up faster and also lose heat faster than valley. And that's what makes the mountain cool. When the warm air around ocean rises to evaporation, it moves towards colder regions. Before warm air reaches the troposphere at the mid altitude, air gets attracted towards the colder region that is the top of the mountain. Now, as it's moving towards the top, it starts to cool as atmospheric pressure decreases with the increase in the altitude. We have studied this in, a, in, our, uh, in our earlier classes. As warm air cools, the water vapor present in it starts to condense. Clouds are formed, rainfall occurs. As the air reaches the summit of the mountain, it begins to descend. Now, the temperature decreases as we go up towards mountain and increases as we come down, increasing the moisture content. There will be no rain in this side of mountain. This area is called as the rain shadow region or the relief rain. Look into the image here. Condensing water vapor, precipitation, 
moist air which is rising this part is called as the rain shadow region because there is no rainfall over here to summarize in orographic rain warm air is forced to cool when it rises over relief features like a mountain or a hill as the warm air rises it condenses and form rain for this the ideal location is the western ghats in india where southwest monsoons come from the arabian sea that is the reason why children deccan plateau do not receive much rainfall likewise himalayas block the monsoon rain higher regions of himalayan range rains heavily now this is for your knowledge we are we are aware of the 2013 uttarakhand flood disaster which is the best example for the orographic rainfall this is the picture showing the disaster i hope these two types of rainfalls are pretty clear